Hi everybody and welcome back to the Irregular Thinking YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the brand new Irregular Choice launch, the Rainbow Wings collection, or so it's listed as on the Irregular Choice website. Today we are going to be talking about four different pairs, um, two styles, both with a, two different colours. Um, so we have two shoes with an ankle strap and two shoes without an ankle strap and I'm going to go through all the pros and cons of both of these. Um, so let's just kind of crack on and see what we've got. So the first pair that I'm going to talk about is called Dreamscape and they were the ones that were on the official teaser that we saw earlier in the week. Um, so the ones that we saw on the teaser were these. So I'm going to hold them up for you like this. So these come in two colours as far as I'm aware, which is the blue pair, which I'm going to show you in detail here. I'll come back to these a little bit in a second because we're going to have a good look at the pink pair, which is this pair here. So sorry, I do need to hold this up for you to be able to see it properly. Um, there's a little heart that there we go. There we go. So yeah, unfortunately, it does kind of flop when it's not held, but you get the idea. So we're going to go through this and I'm going to talk about these for a little bit of time. Um, so the price point on these is, as far as I'm aware, because I'm sorry, this was filmed before they launched. As far as I'm aware, the price point on these is £299, which is pricey. Um, it comes up there with probably one of the most expensive pairs of regulatory shoes ever. Um, in recent memory, it's one of the most expensive pairs that's not a, that is not a collab. It's not a Disney piece. So it is at the high end of people's budgets and what to expect. So we're going to talk a little bit through why I think that is, um, show you all in detail and things like this, and we'll just see what you think really. So yeah, with a big price point comes big expectation, I think. And these definitely deliver in my instance in regards to how they look. So unfortunately, like I have got a ring light on because Scotland in the dark is not fun, but the fabric on these is beautiful it's showing it really iridescent in here i'm gonna maybe try and move away a little bit so you can see the fabric is much 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 nicer in real life than it is showing you here and um, i will give it that so you've got this sort of rainbow wing heel that we've got here so these have got little diamantes on it and they've also got lights in there as well which we'll talk a little bit about in a second so i love this heel this is beautiful the way it kind of arches around the back of the shoe gorgeous you've got this lovely so fabric there you might be able to see as well we've got piping along here and you've got stars here as well so a couple of the plus points we're going to go through first um obviously beautiful love the heel love these little star things here so these are actually quite weighty as well i'm going to try and hold these these are quite heavy so like I know, obviously, I'm dropping them, but they're metal, they're not plastic, um, which I think when they're worn on the foot will actually look really, really lovely. Um, and they feel really nicely made, well attached, all that sort of stuff. This is brilliant. Um, part of the reason that I think it is quite expensive is we're going to flip this way. So no, somebody hasn't gone crazy with this and tried to just stick press here everywhere. There is actually three different buttons for three different lights that are on this shoe, which I think explains the price point quite a lot. So we're going to press each one and see how we go. So that's the first one here, which is the bottom one. And you might have been able to, you probably couldn't see it there, but I'll tap. Can you see how the shoe's lighting up? Sorry, try to do this. So you can maybe see it a little bit more here. Sorry, just my ring light is not really showing it very well. So that lights up the actual shoe. So we move sideways as well and we press the middle one. It's not always easy to do. So this one's a lot easier for me to show you on camera. So you can see that these actually light all the strip light along here. And if you press it again, it'll flash. And then you press it one last time and it flashes quite a lot. So I'm going to switch that off and put it back onto normal just so you can see it. And then last but not least, you've got your third one at the top here. Oh, you might have been able to see it there. So which is, that's knocking the top. You can't see it. Ah, come on, come on. There, there we go. Much easier when it's on, sorry, and you're actually hitting the floor. But if you hit the heel, the actual heel itself lights up. So you have three different lights that you can switch on in three different places. 
I'm going to switch those off now so they don't keep flashing during the video. Um, so yeah, I think that to me, that kind of explains why they were so expensive. Um, are they needed? Maybe not, but I love them. Like I actually quite like the lights on these. I'm not normally a big fan of the lights, um, but I like the fact that you can switch them on and off. I like the fact that we have a, so you can see it here. So you've got a charging point there for you to charge it and it comes with a cable as well. Um, I like the fact that you can maybe just have the heel on, just have the shoe on or just have the strip lighting on and it's only one charging point in there as well. Obviously you can have them all on and they, the front seems to activate when you hit this part of the shoe and the heel seems to activate when you hit this part of the shoe. Um, as I say, once you actually wear them and you've got your weight on them, it's really, really easy to switch them on and off. Like they definitely flash when you walk and things like this because um, I had the other pairs on briefly and like you can definitely tell when when you're walking so those are all the kind of reasons why i think obviously they're a little bit more expensive um and then obviously you can make up your own mind whether you think the lights are worth it and things like this um i have had these on today um and this is the issue for me absolutely um not even close to fitting yeah no doesn't work um I'll show you with the blue pair because we've not talked about the blue pair a lot. Yeah, it doesn't fit. Um, I'm going to put a photo up now so you can see how it looks on my legs and the gap that it has on my legs. So there, you can kind of see that. Um, yeah, it's huge. It is huge. Um, I'm, there's no way I'm doing these up at all. They're tiny. Um, I did mean to measure them before I came here and um, before i started to do my video actually on these so at the widest point here we'll just do it together i guess now we'll do it together i'll try and perch that on there i've got measuring tape um and so just so you've got some indication of if they're going to fit before you buy them so the widest point here you're still going to see all that velcro which a 300 pound pair of shoes i don't want to be seeing no velcro um personally sorry like each to their own um i'm gonna do a really quick measurement on video i'm sorry that this is not ideal it is about i would say 10 and a half maybe 11 inches around um, and that is at its widest point there you're gonna lose at least another inch or so for getting that in there so like that and they are tiny give you a little bit of an indication that's it on my arm like i know i'm a big girl i don't hide that it's not big enough not even close to being big enough um and i am super passionate about the fact that everybody should be able to wear pretty shoes so i talk a lot about obviously the size of my legs and things like this but it's equally as important to me that people with thinner legs still get a good experience because i'm obviously very aware that if you keep making stuff bigger and bigger and bigger for people like me for example then there's a whole other side of people that can no longer wear that product and that is not what i'm here for like i i don't i don't want that like i want everybody like i want there to be like this happy medium where we can kind of both work with it and these don't do that for me they're tight they're so small that is so little and on the photo this isn't like it, this comes up quite high on your leg like this, this, no. For me, they could have extended the Velcro a little bit more and like put more Velcro around here and made it a lot bigger. So like the people like me, we would be wearing it like this, but then maybe people who are a lot thinner than us would wear it like this and you would still have the same effect because obviously all your Velcro would be on the inside. You wouldn't see that. That would be my solution for something like this. For me as well, obviously, the fastening's at the front, so you can't get away with it. Um, there's, do you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing you can do. You can't makeshift anything or put it, like, you would just see it. It's right at the front of the shoe. Um, you could cut it off. I've already thought about this. Um, because, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, this, this, this bit's a little bit negative, and I'm really sorry about that. I don't think I've ever been more disappointed that I've not fit into a pair of shoes. Like, yeah, like I'm just not feeling it today about that. Um, because I think there was solution. I think there was other solutions that we could have had here. Like, I get it. 
stuff's not for everybody and like that's absolutely fine i'm just feeling a bit disheartened by it today so i'm sorry i've kind of got over my initial grump and i'm trying to be like woo we'll talk about more fun stuff in a second but yeah you could cut that off for me again i am not spending 300 pound a pair of shoes to cut off half the shoe so no from me um but yeah i'm gonna show you these in their detail because they're beautiful and i think i'm just a little bit negative about it because i absolutely love them um so i'm a little bit sad and i felt that they could have done better that's where it's at for me um i love them like i really love them i wasn't sure like this bit could come across as a bit like tacky i think if you describe it to me it's like oh yeah it's like a rainbow wing i'm just like mm. in real life it's beautiful it really is beautiful like this fabric i absolutely love this fabric this is gorgeous obviously you've got your piping i'm gonna try and put these on so you can see this color like they're beautiful beautiful shoes they really are like and i don't want to take away from that so like those of you who can wear them definitely like definitely go like do it because they're stunning look look how pretty they are i think i'm just personally a little bit sad that i can't wear them and you come here for an honest review that's what you get from me um so yeah we'll move away from the sadness that is these and onto something a little bit happier that does fit yay oh on these sorry obviously like i can get my legs in them so you've seen that they're true to size i took a 39 perfectly fitting at a 39 when you initially put them on you're a little bit like oh these are small but like the second that you've actually got your foot in them like there's loads of room like not loads of room but they're, they're perfectly fit is my point so moving on from them we're gonna go to the pair of shoes this time shoes without ankle strap shoes without a caveat yay these now these are another one that don't really look that pretty on camera i must admit and um, these are another one for me that are going to look so good on a foot um i've done a little tiktok which i'm going to post a little bit later on today with me wearing these and the other colorway um so they look better on the foot 100 percent, just because the way these feathers kind of curve around your legs and all that sort of stuff they definitely look better on your feet so i'm going to show you these this fabric 11 out of 10 I absolutely love it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Alice in Wonderland shoes, but it is a completely different fabric. So like, I like this stuff that they're doing at the moment that's got like really big chunky shapes in the fabric. Like I love this. I'm, I'm, yeah, I really, really enjoy this fabric. So again, this is the same heel that we've got on the previous shoes. And then we've got the base, which is the Love Heart on the blue which are beautiful. So this has two different finishes here as well. We've got like a fur along here. And then we've got your feathers just here that look a little bit mishy-mashy. That's because they are a little bit mishy-mashy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, so these are all there. I don't know whether they'll just, I don't know whether I need to tease these out a little bit more. I'm not sure. I've just kind of got them out of the box and did a quick video with them. So we'll see. Um, these as well. A little bit cheaper than the other ones, quite a bit cheaper actually. And I think, again, this comes down to the lights. So we've only got one set of lights on these. So you could see that there, flash. Oh, I need to do the heel, sorry. There you go. So you can see the heel actually flashing there. And it's quite bright as well. So like I did a quick, I say I did a quick TikTok in the living room with these on. And it definitely, like, you can definitely see them flashing, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to show you all the way around there and there as well so again these come in two colors and um, we've got this pair here and then we've got these these i wasn't sure i was going to like these just because i thought they'd be a little bit plain but i don't know whether oh, do i love them more than the blue i'm really undecided like i really like them i really really like them so like i'm just going to show you this so again this to me this kind of this black and this gives me mickey and mini vibes from when we had that collection it's got like silver in with the black um i must admit when it looks close up there it looks really really silver but if you pull it there that's probably a better indication for you so again you've got your platform there with your beautiful bit of fabric on so this there isn't any two different colors between the fluff on these so you've got your black fluff there and then you've got your feathers at the top there let me show you those so in contrast to these which one's more like a creamy color like a pinky color and then the other one's like a white so these have two different colors these are both the same color 
which I do quite like. And then again, you've got your heel there as well. I'm going to show you the back. I've not shown you this yet, have I? So you've got this. So again, on these, these are really, really true to size. Um, I've got a 39 in these as well. And I think these are more the ones that like, when you start to put your feet in, you need to be a little bit careful because obviously like you've got your feathers at the side. You do kind of need to make sure that your foot's not catching and bringing these into the shoe and sort of bending them. So it takes, especially your first one, it takes a little bit of getting on, but actually once they're on your feet, they're, they're perfect in a 39 for me. Like I found them really comfortable. You've got that beautiful like platform bit at the front, which I'm absolutely loving at the moment. Um, a regular choice can make as many shoes in this shape as humanly possible. So that cuts a little bit off the heel for your heel height. And then, yeah, I just think they're lovely, aren't they? They're just really nice. Again, um, lighting up for me, I can kind of take it or leave it. Um, I like the fact that you can switch it off. Again, these have a charging point, I believe. Do they? Mm. Sorry, this is what I do when I don't look at things before I start filming, isn't it? I don't know whether these do have a charging point. Hang on, let me look at the blue. Is that it? Maybe not. I'm lying to you all live on camera lying to you all you're never gonna trust me again are you okay these don't charge interesting these don't charge that also might be an indicator of why they're so much cheaper than the other pair um so these don't charge up as far as i can see obviously like i will do more investigation after my video i've tried to jump on really quickly and get this done so you can see them all before you have to buy um these definitely charge because there's a charging point um so these definitely do charge like i can show you the charging point on this it's there so interesting interesting maybe it's because they have the the strip lighting that they need to charge but yes so these are the four pairs that got launched today um i'm sorry if it has a little bit of a negative tone to the video and i rambled and i ranted a little bit um i just i have to give you my honest opinion this is why you guys watch my videos. Like I know a lot of people who are a similar size to me or have similar leg shapes to me watch this. Um, so like it's really important for me not to tell you to buy something or that it will work for you when it won't. Um, on that, like if anybody has any like reasonable solutions on how to make these work, then I'm here to hear this. Um, I won't be deface i don't deface shoes like if they're in a sale i'm like I, if other people want to do it that's absolutely on them like there's the zero judge this is a zero judgment zone um for me personally i just couldn't pay this money much money for a pair of shoes and then chop it off um but i'm open to suggestions because i honestly i love them i love them and if you can wear them i want you to share all your pictures of them and you, you can tag me and you can tell me how brilliant they are but yes just a bit of a sad one today but thank you very much for watching i'm just going to give you a quick rundown anyway of them so you've got them there so you've got these in two fabulous colors look at the heel and then we have these in two fabulous colors as well and i think i'm probably going to go for both of these to make up for the sorrow of those but yes, if there's anything else that you'd like to see or know about or want to hear about, please let me know. Um, I will do a proper actual not live on camera measurement of the strap for you and leave it in the comments down below. Or like I'll leave it in the product, um, I'll leave it in the description so you can make an informed decision before you buy because we all know how sad that would be to actually have them turn up and them not work for you. Um, so I want to give you the best information I can. Um, but yes thank you for watching please let me know if you'd like to know anything else or you want me to do anything differently um yeah let me know and hopefully i'll see you guys soon